Hi, my name is Appaloosa. I am a bioenergetic practitioner and owner of Light Body Energetics. If you'd like to get on my email list for free offerings and infrequent emails, you can go to lightbodyenergetics.com and sign up. You can also follow me on Instagram and check out my link tree for the email list as well. I'm discussing the science of self-healing and useful techniques to ignite the healer within. I've been on a healing journey for the last seven years, healing from two major health crises, and now I'm on a quest for knowledge and I'm sharing what I learned with you. So by the end of this series, you'll be able to create your own or modify your current morning routine. Although you can watch the series out of order, I highly recommend watching it in order for the greatest benefit. Let's get started with this video. What am I discussing? My favorite subject, sound vibration. Let's begin at the Big Bang. According to the unified field theory, the universe expanded from an impulse or fluctuation in the vacuum state. According to string theory, everything in the known universe, particles, forces, atoms, molecules, etc., are made up of microscopic, teeny tiny, on the Planck scale, vibrating loops, kind of like rubber bands. The ways in which these loops vibrate is what determines its expression, and its expression is what we perceive as matter. So essentially saying everything in the universe vibrates is true, according to the complex mathematics determined by string theory. Additionally, it has been found that there are frequencies in nature which overlap our physiological frequencies. In the ionosphere, for example, there are eight Schumann resonances, roughly 7.83 and overtones. This frequency is the same as human brain waves between alpha and theta. All eight correspond to brain waves and heart waves. You can watch my Schumann resonance video here, or I will include a link in the description below. Why? Sound can affect us in a couple of ways. Psychoacoustics is when sound enters your ears, is perceived by the brain, which sends signals to our nervous system, cardiovascular system, and respiratory system. Another way is called vibroacoustics, where sound enters the body, affecting you on a cellular level, such as with tuning forks or vibrating massage chairs or tables. According to Jonathan Goldman, author of The Humming Effect, sound healing may work via the concept of entrainment, a physics term for the fact that two vibrating objects in proximity will come into resonance with one another, the lower frequency moving up to meet the higher frequency. If cells in the body are not vibrating in their natural healthy frequency, sounds that match that frequency can help restore them to proper balance therefore bringing about physiological change. Resonant entrainment is seen in biological systems where a cell oscillating at a particular frequency oscillate neighboring cells at the same frequency, generating a ripple effect. Interestingly, musician and scientist Anthony Holland has ever been studying certain frequencies' ability to shatter cancer cells. In the end, everything in the universe vibrates from the giant cosmos to the cells in our body, from the microcosm to the macrocosm. Healing with resonant frequencies seems to be pretty logical to me. Let's continue. Dr. John Boilu is an expert in the field of sound healing, integrating Eastern and Western healing disciplines. He has published research such as a paper entitled Biosonics, Stress Science, and Nitric Oxide literature review. In this paper, he discusses how specific tuning forks release nitric oxide in the blood, a free radical naturally produced in the body. Nitric oxide has been shown to have antimicrobial and tumoricidal properties, reduces inflammation, and has an immune suppressive effect. It is also a vasodilator, increasing circulation in the blood. Dr. Bolu has also conducted research at NYU in the anechoic chamber and found that he could hear his own nervous system. He began to use tuning forks and found that he could entrain his nervous system tone with the introduction of the forks. Dr. Bolu is a pioneer in the field, drawing upon his experience as a composer, mental health counselor, naturopathic doctor, and founder of Biosonics, a company selling specialized high quality tuning forks accessories, music, and more. And I'll include a link in my description below. His book, Human Tuning, discusses the physics of sound and the physiological effects of specific harmonics have on the mind, body, and consciousness. 
Certain frequencies entrain the body systems, such as binaural beats, and train the brain into specific brainwave states. So, for instance, if I have two tuning forks here, these create a binaural beat when used on the body or on either side of the ears. They're two different frequencies. There are actually harmonics of the Schumann resonance, 62.64 hertz and 54.81 hertz. So these are overtones of that 7.83, the Schumann resonance found in the ionosphere, near the ionosphere of the earth. If you subtract 54.81 from 62.64, you get 7.83. So what the brain does is it takes these two frequencies and it entrains to the 7.83 hertz. That means you're inducing a 7.83 frequency in the brain. So that brain wave is on the alpha theta cusp. It induces a relaxation, a deep relaxation response. So what's interesting is that frequency 7.83 hertz, which is a brain wave state 7 hertz, is also found in the between the ionosphere and the Earth's surface called the heartbeat of the Earth. So if you want to check out my Schumann resonance video here, they, NASA found out that we need that frequency for survival. Humans can create their own vibration in the form of humming. Humming has been used for healing for thousands of years and many cultures believe that all of creation came from an initial sound, om, in the Vedic tradition. Jonathan Goldman, author of The Humming Effect, says that humming has been used as a sacred healing method by the Hindu yoga tradition of, please forgive me for butchering this, the Shabd yoga called Brahmari Pranayama. Goldman has documented many beneficial physiological effects of humming such as increased oxygen in the cells, lowered blood pressure, lowered heart rate, increased lymphatic circulation, increased levels of melatonin, reduced levels of stress-related hormones, release of endorphins, and increased levels of nitric oxide, as previously mentioned, a molecule associated with vasodilation and the promotion of healing. It's no wonder that music has been an instrumental aspect in the lives of humans. Music can be uplifting, emotional, energizing, and relaxing, and many times comes with the desire to sing along or hum to oneself. Knowing that there are so many beneficial aspects to humming, one might be apt to do it more often. According to William Sofsky in a paper titled, Physics and Biophysics of Sound Healing, our brain interprets the inputs and outputs of our vibratory universe through our sense perceptions at roughly 0 0.0001 seconds. The eyeball processes these vibratory impulses at 0 0.01 seconds. And post-processing, this creates the world we experience. In other words, our unconscious shapes the world we experience by managing micro reverberations. Without getting too deep, and I fear I already have, don't worry, I have a hard time grasping all this too, is most of it is processing in our unconscious awareness anyhow. The point of this article is that sound in nature entrains our physiological systems and creates homeostasis. The thing is, most of us don't live in nature anymore. We have evolved to build homes and roads out of concrete. I lived in a concrete jungle in Los Angeles almost my entire life until recently with Wi-Fi and 5G, so we are confusing our body's frequencies. But we can be tuned like an instrument. Sofsky found that in paleo times, our nervous systems calibrated themselves because of outdoor 3D sonic environments. The nature sounds rain, wind, tree snaps created space in our brains. The microseconds of modern technology, the flickering of screen rates, for example, disrupt our delicate vibration managing nervous systems as they are unnatural. They decalibrate our inner orchestra. So I'm gonna to get to the how now. <laughs> the first how is, his solution is known as forest bathing or a man-made sound bath to recalibrate. So if you've ever been to the sound bath and you're wondering why does it feel so good, this is why. What it does, is it recalibrates one's spatial localization sense by hearing where the sound comes from. He says standing waves have the simplest possible pattern in space and time, so they provide the entire body with simultaneous, consistent, coherent stimulation. Sensory neurons on and under the skin thus all fire in microsecond synchrony. 
The next how is using tuning forks on and around the body, introducing coherent sound frequencies found in nature. In my other videos on this channel, I go over many types of tuning forks and how to use them, so be sure to check out some of my other videos. You can also look into having a biofield tuning practitioner, such as myself, over a distance or one in your area in person for an in-person experience work on you, go to biofieldtuning.com, find a practitioner. And finally, without having to purchase anything or go anywhere, humming provides many benefits. Personally, I use tuning forks at the end of my movement or yoga practice to move lymph and release excess tension, to increase nitric oxide for increased circulation, and to entrain my brain waves and nervous system. But you can also ohm at the end of your movement practice before or after breath work and meditation. And chanting ohm or aum stimulates the endocrine glands. And if you're shy, check out the ohm fork, 136.1 hertz in the description below or on my website store. But if you're more adventurous, try humming the rainbow connection. Please let me know in the comments if this video is helpful or how this technique has benefited you in your life. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this channel and follow me at Light Body Energetics on Instagram. And don't forget to watch the next video.